I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is Stardew Valley Star Drops episode something. 17, maybe? Uh, somewhere in there. Um, we are getting really close to the end. I no longer remember at what points we get which things, because I've recorded up through the end of the series, there isn't a whole lot left. In fact, there's only uh, today's video, tomorrow's video, and then one more after that, and then we have to start a new series, because that'll be the end of this series. It's been a long journey. Uh, I think this series is actually my longest now, at 19 videos. Uh, yeah, that's, that's basically that. We'll talk more about what went well, what didn't go well in the, uh, in the last video of the series, as we always do. And other than that, I'm going to be trying to, like, fish around for a new challenge that I can do in, in Stardew, or some new series that I can start in, in general. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. Like I've mentioned, I can't do, uh, Dark Souls, because it, um, just doesn't work for me. The keyboard controls, like, keyboard and mouse controls are too weird for me to be able to use. They don't work very well for some reason, and my controller doesn't work, so... Uh, we'll see. I might try to get my hands on a copy of RimWorld and do a series in that because it does look really interesting plus it has the graphics that Prison Architect has. Apparently the devs of Prison Architect gave them permission to use very similar looking assets in RimWorld. I don't know. Either way, looks like it could be fun. Um, I have a few other ideas for a series that I might start. But we'll see. I think I want to keep doing another Stardew series to replace this one as the 12 p.m. slot. But I'm not entirely sure what challenge I want to do just yet. I was thinking I might do uh, ship one of every item. Like one of every, uh, uh, every item in the shippable collections tab. So like forageables and farmables. But I feel like that would be too easy compared to these other challenges, so I might toss in something else in the mix, like uh, upgrade every tool to Iridium and get a Galaxy Sword. That might be fun. It should be entirely possible to get a Galaxy Sword. I mean, you know, you just have to get a Prismatic Shard, and that's pretty much the hardest part. So, yeah, I'll, I'll think more on it. If you guys think that would be an interesting challenge, like shipping every shippable... Uh, from the shippable collections, and getting all the tools upgraded to Iridium plus the Galaxy Sword as a challenge. If you guys think that would be interesting, leave a comment below saying so, so that I know whether or not I should do that. Uh, other than that, yeah, back to this video. Uh, we're at the Stardew Valley Fair right now, fishing of course, because that's the easiest way to get tokens if you don't want to gamble. I don't know the trick to the wheel, so I don't know how to cheese it in order to win, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, fishing Fishing does enough. We only need 2,800 coin, or stars. And with 2,800 stars, we can spend 800 to get the Rare Crow and 2,000 to get the Star Drop, bringing us much closer to our goals. And yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, There was that thing. Yes, uh, I said, I've said since the beginning of the series that victory is not going to be dependent on donating every item to the museum. And I said I would try to get every artifact for the museum. And I guess I could still try, if you guys want me to. But, I, like I said, I've recorded up through the end. It ended on, like, Winter 9. And, um... I don't think it's possible for me to get every artifact throughout the last of uh, Winter. I got up to 20 artifacts donated, because that's how many you need to get a Rare Crow. I got really lucky, and managed to actually pick up a couple extra ones to get to 20, because I was falling short of 20 for a while. But I don't think I can get the other 23 artifacts in, like, the last 20 days of winter. I'd have to get an artifact, a unique artifact every single day to be able to meet that challenge, and I just don't think it's going to happen with how rare artifacts are. Like, in the first uh, five days of winter, I think, I was looking around for worm tiles, and I wasn't even really finding that many. Even though it's winter and there's supposed to be more worm tiles spawning, I just wasn't finding any. So I couldn't get any artifacts that way. Fishing for artifacts is really difficult because uh, it's like a 0.1% chance that you even get an artifact in a chest. There's the star drop, by the way. So, uh, like, I just, 
I wish that I could fill out the museum and actually complete this challenge in one go, like getting every single star drop, including the museum, donating one, and getting all the rare crows at once, but it's just not going to happen. So we're going to have to settle for uh, six out of the seven star drops and eight out of the eight rare crows. You can see up in the up in the corner of my farm there, I'm like making that little array of rare crows, but I do move it down in front of my house once I get all eight. So... Like I said, and have been saying for like the past two minutes, I wish I could do donate every item to the museum, but it's not going to happen. Even if I try throughout the rest of winter, I can't get them all. I'd come really close, maybe, but uh, there's just no way that I would get all of them. The main... Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Uh, the main reason that I even got close to 20 artifacts is because I actually... Um, I grinded... In the mines, that's what this section is. So that I could get the Dwarf Scrolls 2 and 4, because I already had 1 and 3. So, uh, I just kept going through the mines over and over on the levels that the wiki says that the Dwarf Scrolls can appear on. Which is 45 to 60 for Dwarf Scroll 2. And you get it by killing, I think, blue slimes and bats, or just any enemies in general on this floor maybe. And Dwarf Scroll 4 is uh, killing any enemy has a chance to drop it, or uh, digging in dirt on floor 83 or lower, I believe. It might be 81 or lower. So I do that, and I get both of the Dwarf Scrolls so that I can get the Dwarven Translation Guide, which allows us, of course, access to purchasing the Rare Crow from the Dwarf. And yeah, we, we get that. Not this episode, I don't think. I think I get that next episode. But we are getting closer, and we're coming up on the end of the video here. So I hope you guys are all enjoying the series. It's, like I said, just about over. So we're coming up on the end. If you want to see the every shippable run, put it in the comments below. Uh, yeah, leave a like if you like the video, and I'll see you guys all next time.